is a learning activity. The most common one, I think, is Kahoot, right? Kahoot is something that everybody is interested in. You can have it on your phone. You don't need to pay, etc. So my question is to you. You can type because I have silence. Some teachers, you can type. Have you used Kahoot before? Yes or no? Can you type your answers, please? I would like to read your comments. Flor Angel says, yes. Sheila as well. Okay, what about the rest? Gertrude is yes, I'm using it for a while so far. Sanjeta says no, and Elizabeth, not yet. Okay. Kahoot is free. Okay, so that's something that we like. And if you want, um, for example, a, a premium features, because they have premium features, you can do it now. You can apply for, as an educator. So if I show you, because I didn't know this, but because I'm always on internet, if you go to Kahoot, and uh, Kahoot is here, Create Kahoot I It, that's for teachers. I have the premium version, and that's because I applied for the educators one. You don't need to pay, you don't need to register, well, you need to, to have your email. But uh, in, in, I can invite one member, it says, but you can, you can do it. With, with the premium one, of course, you have different features, update the school information. I, I don't teach at a school, I teach online, but it doesn't matter where you teach, where you are from. You can apply for premium Kahoot for free, maybe later, okay? Okay, so it says Kahoot premium for schools. I haven't paid anything and I have this plan for free until October. So if you register now, you will also have the opportunity to use Kahoot for two or three months. When you go to Kahoot, can you see the website, by the way? Because yesterday I was talking and talking. And yes, nobody... miss. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Whenever you go to uh, an app or anything, my advice is to click on different things, not only to create Kahoot, but also discover, because they have webinars for free. They have blogs that can guide you, okay? You also have some quizzes ready for you. So remember that create.kahoot.it is for teachers and Kahoot and the other Kahoot is for students. Students don't, don't need to register, okay? They just need the code that you're going to send them. So what I usually do is I, I click on home and, uh, and you could see here what's new. You can read, practice your English as well, top picks, and discover, <clears throat> discover more Kahoot. Okay, so that's the one, the first one that I want I wanted to share with you. With the premium Kahoot, um, it's a bit slow. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, wh why do I need Kahoot? Well. You want to practice grammar, you want to practice vocabulary, and you want interactive games, and that, that everything will be through Kahoot. So for example, the one that I have is common mistakes. I usually start my lessons or my uh, Facebook Live with students common mistakes, and they are very interested in that. When you click on play, they give you teach, they give you a code, and you give that code to your students, okay? We're not going to play now. Ah. We're not going to play now, but- Sorry, can you... I ask a question, uh, Roxy? Yes, yes Roxy, sure. Is that your name, right, Roxy? Yes, that's my name. <laughs> um, I have Kahoot, but uh, what, what are the advantages of having of having Kahoot Premium. What can I do here that I can do with the other type of account? Okay, that's an amazing question. Wait, let me let me go up. Okay, 
So for example, when you go to create, uh, it's a bit slow. When you go to create, usually with, with a simple Kahoot, you only have this option, create. But with a premium, you, you have templates. You have slides, como si fuera un PowerPoint listo. Okay, you have Kahoot formative assessment, spelling, uh, spelling and selfie Kahoot. So these are the new features. So if you want, if I want to teach with slides, look, you have like different slides ready for you. So the only thing that you need to do, of course, is to replace here. Replace this with a simple introductory question. Okay, like maybe describe the, the picture. Okay, and you have to change this, no? Or is this, uh, I don't know, a restaurant? Is this a blah, blah, blah? And they have to choose yes, no, why? So you can change this. So this is different also because you can import your slides. As you can see here, the crown. Maybe I have slides ready on PowerPoint, okay? And I want my PowerPoint uh, presentation to be more active, more dynamic. So I import, upload file. It will take me to my computer. Maybe I choose this, importing slides. Okay, maybe my internet is a bit slow today, but you import them, okay, to the Kahoot. So you just need to add some little bits because sometimes on PowerPoint, of course you can do amazing things on PowerPoint, but you need lots and lots of time. And here on Kahoot, you can make it easier and more interactive with the options to choose. It says keep editing while importing. Okay. Okay. Import complete. You have successfully blah, blah, blah. I want to see them. You click on see. You see, this is the one that I have. And all of them are here now. So that will be one of the differences, that you have slides ready, you can import your own slides, okay? You click on done. Remember this is uh, like, a, um, you can import, continue, and you can continue editing. Okay, I also have the, the premium version, so Kahoot Premium, so I can do different things. I, I advise you to try because it's for free. They don't ask you for any, uh, put your car number. No, they don't ask you for anything. So for two months, you can have a go, you can have fun, and then they are not going to charge any money because they don't have any details of you. Okay? Hey, Char, excuse yes. me. Let me share something. I've been using the premium account. However, I got a bill for $72, and I have applied to this specific uh, account as a teacher. It was uh, about uh, in, in April. So last week I got a bill for $72. So there is no way how to communicate with them because there is not an email address which I could write to. Uh, this is number one point. Secondly, I have taken advantage of that discover feature. I've yeah. been using lots of Kahoot for the upper level of the secondary uh, grace, which I teach too. So that is great. So it saved me a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Before I used to take a couple of hours to create a, a Kahoot, but now I've just got to discover, I, blah, blah, blah. I look mm -hmm. for the topic that I want to work with and it just immediately I have the Kahoot ready to go. Yeah. But I'm just concerned about the money. $72 is quite a lot of money for us, you yeah. know? So I don't know what to do at this point. Okay, my advice, because they always, always reply to the comments that you make on social media. So for example, that happened to me with another website because that was my mistake. And I did 
two payments at the same time. I followed them on Instagram. I, I wrote a comment on one of their pictures. They got embarrassed and they say, don't worry, we're going to help you. And then I inboxed them on Instagram because everything now is Instagram. And they, okay. uh, they, they helped me a lot and they gave me the money back. But, so I advise you to go on Twitter or Instagram and they will immediately follow you, no, follow you, no, sorry, reply to you because they don't like any bad reviews, visual to everybody because Instagram is very popular. Thank you. Yeah, okay, good luck, good luck with that. <laughs> okay, so we have now more people. Okay, I'm not going to talk about Kahoot or everything because this is, uh, I'm going to show you different apps, okay? So this is one, I'm going to close Kahoot. I'm going to share the second one, okay? Quizlet. Uh, so I usually, oops, no. I closed the presentation, oh my gosh. Okay, Quizlet, are you familiar with that? Can somebody tell me? Have yes, you used Quizlet? I've tried Quizlet, um, oh. but I, I think Quiz, Quizlet, well, it depends on how you use it, but it's for short questions. It has only two possibilities. If you mix it, if you combine, I, I don't remember very well the options. There are two options, combine, and there's another one when you have a specific amount of time to answer. And mm. then the... the the options are going down and then you have to choose. There are like two types of game that you can play in, on Quizlet. Um, yeah, maybe. When was the last time you tried? Uh, last year. Last year, okay. Well, it has changed a lot. Okay, I don't follow it every single month, to be honest, but I was in love with Quizlet, like, three years ago and I paid a subscription and it was worth it. Now I don't pay it, I have the normal one and it's still amazing. But they have more features I'm going to show you now, okay? And Gertrude says, no, I don't use it. Florence said, yeah, it's great for vocabulary and to practice vocabulary, yes. So, um, okay, I don't need this now, no, no. Quizla, Quizlet, okay, so. Of course, you can also have the premium. Every single app, you have the upgrade to teacher, no? They want to take your money, of course. <laughs> now, you go to create. I have, for example, uh, different quizzes ready, open to anybody, so they are free to use for your lessons as well. So I can share my Quizlet with you. And if you want to have a lesson, vocabulary lesson ready, you can use that. So for example, the, this one is, is closed, it's private, but the other ones are free. So for example, I have office supplies or school supplies. So the things that you can do are these, flashcards, learn, write, spell, test, match, gravity, and life. But I think life is if, when you pay. So if I use it with flashcard, This is the picture, of course. Click card to see the term. No. Folder, okay, that's a folder. And you continue with that. Next one. Oh, what is this? Okay, a whole punch. Okay, what is this? I, sorry. And you continue. Now, let's imagine I have seen all the 20 flashcards and I remember all of them. Now I want to play. Sorry, you go back, you want to learn. And when you learn is when you have interactive activities. Welcome to the learn mode. Okay, you got it. And you have to choose, for example, what is this? A computer, an envelope, keyboard? For example, I'm going to choose computer, okay? Oh no, I studied this one. Okay, you said computer. The answer is keyboard. Um, okay, I'll check this out, I'm familiar with this, and I need to push it that much, which is proper, okay, you'll know. Okay, 
So let's imagine if you continue, press any key to continue. Okay, what is this? Okay, stopper envelope. Okay, sellotape. Yeah, correct. So this is the other one. Okay, to test your vocabulary and then write. So to check your spelling. So what is this? Okay, let's imagine I say book. Okay, that's very silly. I said, no, it's not a book, it's a sellotape. And you continue and continue. You go back and you have spell, test. You have a mini test as well. I used to send this as a piece of homework. Okay. Now, of course, you have to write the answers, write the answers, etc. Let's imagine that you don't have time. So I, I don't want to create a quizlet. It takes too much time. Well, you go to search and you search, for example, I don't know, English. And you will see other sets available for you that other teachers have created. Look, like mini videos or GIFs, nouns in English, nursery communication, adjectives. Okay. So for example, let's imagine you like one of the one of these ones. Okay. I'm going to click any, okay. And the same happens. Flashcards, lay, write, spell, test. It has five reviews. And these are the terms if you want to practice. Okay. What and you can play with your students. The same. Okay, you click, then you continue, you click, and you continue. So that depends of uh, what you are looking for. You can create or you can search. Let's imagine you like it and you want to pay. If I want to pay, upgrade to teacher. It's not expensive, really. If three months, three euros per month, that will be like nine soles. Nine soles is like uh, three chocolates, I think. <laughs> three sublimes, no? And it's 35 euros per year. And so what do you have? You have organized your lessons live, Quizlet live. You can track your students' progress. You can check if they have done or not the homework and how good was that. Okay, you can, you can pay, you can maybe pay for one month, three euros to see if you like it or not. If you don't want to pay, you have many things available for free. Okay, so um, for example, a uh, gelner says, uh, I'll check it so as to, to become familiar with it. I'm not into Quizlet that much. Greetings from Peru. Yeah, that depends on every teacher, no? So for example, at the beginning, I loved it, but now maybe not so much, okay? That depends on you, no? So who has used Quizlet? Uh, it was a Sheila and Florangel, no? But Sangea says no, and Elizabeth not yet. Okay, but you can, you can try. I tried with, with Match and Gravity, those two. Uh, I remember children like playing with those options. With oh, gravity, gravity and, and much. Yeah, yeah, those are great uh, categories that you can have lots of fun. And the more interactive, the better. That's what it, that's what our students like, no? <laughs> I think they think everything is like a video game or something. Okay, so now we have talked about Quizlet now. Bitmoji. These are Bitmojis, of course. Do you use Bitmojis? Do you create stickers or funny things with your Bitmoji? I have used it. Uh, teacher, how <laughs> can we do the Bitmojis to work? I have created my own, but I'm not able to, to um, manipulate within my lesson classes. And my students, my primary students ask me, oh, teacher Trudy, teacher Trudy, we want to see the PPT with your Bitmojis, but, but I can't do it. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that you need to do, I'm going to show you, is you need the Bitmoji Chrome extension. Have you got it? <laughs> okay, can you silence your microphone? <laughs> it's, it's very funny. Okay, okay. So 
first, you need to have the Bitmoji Chrome extension installed onto your computer. Okay, Jelner says Bitmoji, yeah, I've used it before, before the, the Facebook avatars, yeah. So I have the Chrome extension here, okay? And you can uh, choose that with Gmail or a uh, Snapchat. So if I want to open my Bitmoji, because it's already installed, if I close this, Bitmoji. Okay, it's a bit slow. Okay, for example, I want to create stickers. Okay. I depending now saying congratulations, perfect, yes, <clears throat> well done. So you have to type here the phrase that you want. So for example, great. I want to make stickers with the phrase great. You choose what you want. I, I like all of them. You right click, guardar imagen como. And it goes to your computer. Maybe you say sticker one is downloaded. And uh, maybe another one. Yay! For example, this one, guardar como sticker two. So now what happens? If I go to my um If I go to my uh, PowerPoint presentation or any presentation that you want, if I delete this, let me delete this first. Delete. Okay. I want to insert image. Voy a mi descargas, download. Click on that and look. This is the sticker. So I want to make it maybe a bit better. You can insert circle, okay, for example here. Maybe not that color, maybe this color. Contorno, mm, no. You go here and ir atrás, okay? can make it like this. Maybe you don't like that color. You change it again, you change the circle as you want. So you can add another one. Insert. Descarga. Oh, this is nice. This is really cool. Okay, make it a bit smaller or bigger. That depends on you. Insert, I, sorry. Insert shape. Maybe another one, maybe like this. Another color. Fondo atrás. And then you have your sticker. Okay? It took um, not a lot, I think, maybe a couple of minutes. Okay? So Jelner says, wow, I can see many extensions which you use. I don't see so many, I think, on Chrome freezes at that time. <laughs> yeah, I have like 100 of extensions. Uh, they make my life easier. Okay, so look, I have created my own stickers with my avatar. Bitmoji is free. And also, you can use Bitmoji on your uh, Gmail or Hotmail when you say goodbye. No? Okay. So, a question about Bitmoji? Well, not Bitmoji specifically, Roxy. So far, you've been talking about Kahoot, who is yes. it? Um, Bitmoji, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I just want to be sure. Yeah, the first one was Kahoot, Quizlet, and Bitmoji. Okay. And all right, let's continue. Another one, sparkadobe.com. It comes from the family of Adobe that is quite expensive, but this one is free and you can also pay. So let's go to the... Uh, Let's go to the website. Here. Okay, I'm going to share the link with you so you can see. Oh, that's, a, that's a big one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Spark Adobe or Adobe Spark. 
because sometimes they change their name. I don't know why. Adobe Spark, as you can see here, and on the website, Spark Adobe. I used to make so many mistakes, <laughs> confusing ones. Okay, so again, this one offers two free months subscription, but be careful because they ask you for your credit card. <laughs> and after the two months, they can charge you. So you need to be very uh, clever and um, silent. You need to be very clever and before it expires, you see, you click on cancel, okay? So you have to read this very, very carefully. I advise you not to do it. So what, what can you do here? Well, you can make videos. It's like a mini website. You can make slides. You can have pictures. I'm going to show you. And this is my account. I do, I'm not paying anything. Start now. People use it also when they work on social media, maybe content for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, as you can see. But it doesn't matter if it's for business because you want it for education, right? But when you have a lesson, you, you, you also make visual aids, no? flashcards, and you also make presentations and slideshow. So if you want to make, you decide what you want to make. For example, a presentation, eh? porque ahora estamos con todo el PowerPoint and presentation for the lessons. Okay, so as you can see, this is like a website ready for you. So you add a title, okay? Well, today we're going to talk about my favorite day of the week. <laughs> of the week. Subtitle, routines. Wait, no. Sorry, routines, okay? Here, it gives you different options here. You can add a photo at the back. I want a nice photo. Well, I don't have a nice photo here. I, maybe this one. And it changes, okay? You can scroll down. And I'm going to um, maybe organize a set of activities for my students to do, or I'm going to organize my lesson plan to follow. So my favorite day of the week, text. What is your favorite day of the week? Maybe this is the first question, okay? If you want to be more interactive, you can make a video, you can upload a video or paste it from YouTube. So if I were you, I go onto YouTube and I type my favorite day of the week or days of the week. Huh? And maybe here you have examples, 10 minutes, no, two minutes, no. Uh, my favorite, uh, this is a robot. Five minutes, you decide which one you want. Okay, I'm going to choose the first one, just because. Oh, this is in Russian. No, <laughs> maybe this one. Okay, you choose this one. You copy. Please, can you silence your microphone? You copy and paste. Okay, I'm going to silence. And so you have a video and you ask your students, before we start the lesson, I would like you to watch this video and tell me what is the name of the song? What do you like about this video? Then I have a question for you. What's your favorite day of the week? And you keep adding. You have a plus and you decide, I want to add a video, no, a text, no, a photo. I'm going to add a photo. You can upload a photo or you can find free photos. For example, uh, I want to, I don't know, I don't know, uh, children. And you have pictures of children, okay. 
and you say, look at this picture and tell me why is this baby or child happy? Okay, and you continue. You create a title and all the content needs, needs to be um, connected to the title, of course. Right now, I'm just clicking on anything because I'm giving you examples. Let's imagine I have finished. Okay, I like this, I like this. Okay, so now what? Well, you preview. Quiero ver cómo queda. Okay, my favorite of the week, the video, the question, the picture. Hmm. Okay, you close and you said, I want to share this with my students. You can print and you can publish and share the link. What's the limit with the, with the creations? There is no limit. The only thing that is limited is that you cannot download them. If you want to download them, you need to pay. But if you want to share that, you create link, you copy, and for example, right now, if I want to share with you, let's imagine you are my lesson, you're my, my students, I share, and I tell my students, I have sent you the link, please follow the instructions, blah, blah, blah. But if you want to download it, you cannot, have, you cannot do it. You can share that on Facebook. Maybe you have a Facebook group on Twitter or on Google Class. This is amazing. Or email. Okay. For example, you can use this with your students and also maybe with your colleagues. Maybe you are eh, son de repente cinco profesores del mismo nivel and you want to share what you have been working instead of sending WhatsApp groups a text. I know you. You say, "Hey, I have a link and I'm going to tell you what I have been doing this week." And they are going to explore and see, and you don't need to send audios and text to, to your friend, to your colleagues. Okay, this is one of the things that I like, the presentations. Okay, photo collage, well, you know what is a photo. Okay, again, you can upload or you can choose three amazing photos. Okay, school, school. Okay, maybe this one. Next, you select the size, the square, the most common one. Wait a little bit. And you are going to add a text. Um, maybe you want to change the colors. Look at all these different designs. That's why when you go on Instagram or Facebook, you see how do they create all this? Well, they use these kind of apps. Okay, so maybe this one. Create. Well, it has changed the picture of the baby. I think it's going to up, um, linked with a new picture. Check it out, da, da, da. okay. Replace font. Well, it has changed as you can see. But if you want to keep the first one, let's imagine you say, oh no, I made a mistake. I want the picture of the boy. Okay. You click again, okay? Create. You create. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, you share. Where is this? Okay, I want to create a photo collage. I said school. No? School. I like the picture of the boy here. I choose square. And here you can add the text. Look, this is cool. <laughs> you can add the text, this one. And here. What the boy doing? Done. And you say, oh, he's white. I can't see it. Don't worry. You change the color. And also you can change the font. And where's the font type? Press it here, press it here and you change the font, maybe this one, 
maybe this one, okay? So you can play around. So you have a picture, you have added a title or a question, you can change the color, you can design. <clears throat> if I click on design, the picture is going to change a lot. For example, if I click on this one, look, the question has changed. So you can do it here, 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 here. So it's a simple picture, but I have added a question and it will make it more interesting and exciting for my students maybe. Or maybe you are preparing your lesson plans and you want to show it to your supervisor. So you can do this as well, you know, you want to impact, <laughs> okay? This one, for example, you can download, but the presentations, no. Download, te dicen como lo puedes bajar, start downloading. Okay, my Wi-Fi is not very, it's not very good today. But you can download, okay, and then it will go to your computer. So you go again to, ah, okay, saving your post, okay, okay. I have to be more patient. <laughs> and you can have a look at everything that you can create. Okay, templates. Do you have templates ready? You can read their blog. They also have a podcast. All that. Okay, that's Spark Adobe. Okay. So, now, next one. Lexico.com. Have you heard about this one, lexico.com? Can you share your thoughts? Lexico.com, is it new? Okay. Uh, Maria Angeles says, thank you so much, Ms. Roxy, because I was doing my post to my children by PP, PPT, yeah. PowerPoint. But I love PowerPoint, by the way, because I, I don't pay. <laughs> and if I don't have a well connection, I can do it any, at anywhere. Becky says, uh, it is new for me. I haven't used it yet. No, not really. Okay. Lexico.com is a dictionary, okay, with Oxford Dictionary. Um, personally, I always check Oxford Dictionary and Cambridge Dictionary. Be post, before I post something, I want to double check my grammar, my spelling. I love that. And lexico.com is like two dictionaries in one. And it is free. And it's not only a dictionary. So I'm going to show you now. Now I'm going to close this because I will be, will be crazy, I think. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, lexico.com. Look, the dictionary, yeah, we know all that. Okay, treasures as well. And grammar, that's something that I like. Okay, let me close this. So you have grammar, spelling, punctuation, writing teeth, usage, and you can explore the words. So for example, look, English grammar. English grammar, um, for example, phrasal verbs. Okay, it's going to search for the phrasal verbs. There are no grammar, okay. Or phrasal, no phrasals, okay. They tell you the meaning, okay, what do they mean? You have pronunciation, examples, okay, and also, you can share this on social media, but not the dictionary, you want the grammar. Where do they click on the grammar? Okay, there we go. You have to be very careful, I click on the wrong thing. English grammar, I, I wrote phrasal verbs. The meaning, example, and they give you the different ways. Word order, this is like a, a lesson because you can also copy and paste on your PowerPoint, and you, you don't need to type every single thing. Mm -hmm. You have subjects, transitive, or more tips, okay. Now, maybe you want an article, based guidelines for English spelling, okay. Spelling, variations, or other, ending, beginning with vowels, spelling difference between languages, so you have different things, not only for students, hey, just for teachers as well. 
what I usually do is I read blogs, I listen to podcasts, I go to dictionaries to always check my grammar because I know I am a non-native English teacher and I know I, I need to, you know, to improve my English all the time. For example, this one here, prefixes, they give you examples. Maybe you already know, but you can double check to see more from spelling, spelling, spelling. Okay. So you can explore and also the dictionary. Okay, this is a very simple one. It says powered by Oxford. Because if you go to Oxford Dictionary, it's also great. I, I love Oxford Dictionary more than Cambridge one. Okay, no, I don't want to upgrade. <laughs> don't take my money, no, no, no. Okay, look, you have the word of the month, teacher join us. They, also, they were also offering webinars, but webinars according to the books they have. You can also have the Oxford Advance on your, on your phone, you can visit their blog. Okay, you can do many things, but my advice is to concentrate on a couple of things that you like and try to check them all the time, you know? Because if you go to every single dictionary, you will become crazy. You will say, I don't have time, my God, I'm studying all the time. And you can find a lot there. Wow, great to adapt for the lessons too. Yes, Jelner, yeah. Uh, different things that you can just take copy and paste, have ideas for your lessons. You can do so many things. But as I, as I said before, I'm always on Oxford, Dictionary, Cambridge, and the other one that I show you, just two or three, because I know there are many, Macmillan, blah, blah, blah. Concentrate on a few. Look, you have resources, word lists, grammar, etc. Okay, so this is the Oxford and uh, the other dictionary, lexico.com. Okay, you can type here, depending on your language, look, if you are you speak French or I don't know. Okay, so I also trust Oxford and Cambridge, our kind of Bibles. <laughs> yeah, yeah there are, those are like Bibles to us, no? our great references as well. All right, so let's carry on. We talk about lexico. And now this is like a boyfriend, a husband. <laughs> the BBC Learning English. The BBC Learning English. Oh gosh, I have it also on my phone. Okay. For teachers and students. Now, my question to you is how often do you check? The BBC Learning English. Never, sometimes, you don't like it, you hate it. <laughs> Have you used that before? Maybe never. Okay. Very often. Jelner says very often. Okay. The one minute news. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it before. No. Okay. Oh, you haven't seen Learning English, BBC Learning English before. Okay. Okay, true. This is I never use it. Oh, okay. Maybe some people don't like it. Either, no? uh, it depends on your likes. But why do I have it on my phone? Because I like the grammar challenge. They have grammar challenge, so I can change my change, ah, sorry, I can check my grammar in a couple of minutes. They have vocabulary on the go, different phrases and idioms that we need to have if we want to apply to work in a better institute, for example. So I'm going to show you a website. Let's go. Let me close this. And this is the BBC Learning English since 1943. Oh my gosh. Here, you don't need to click on anything, okay? Just go down. You have the courses. Look, how many courses? And in quizzes. Features. You have grammar. And this is the one that I like. 
the six minute grammar. Okay, you have uh, the intermediate, upper intermediate vocabulary. One that I like as well is the English we speak, and there they share common expressions from England. Okay, not things like, do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. They have different, the English we, the English we speak is like, do you like, it? for example, if I ask you, do you like ice cream? You say, absolutely. Who doesn't? Yeah, no, those are like everyday English. No? Something also that I check is pronunciation. Very important to us. You have the sound, you have T, well, you can click on that. Okay, so for example, if I want to check my grammar, intermediate, it's a podcast because it says six minute grammar. And you choose what you want to check. Phrasal verbs, no? I'm obsessed with phrasal verbs because I think I need to study phrasal verbs every day. <laughs> Look, they give you the unit, okay? In this session, they're going to talk about break up, break down, get up, make out, they're more well, okay. You choose the one you want. For example, activity three, phrasals. Separate or not to separate. Listen to the audio and complete the activity. So you have the audio here. And if you are not uh, very used to English or listening to very fast, you can show the transcript. All that. You can download the podcast because this is part of a podcast, no? It's a radio on the go. You can download the course. You can download everything for free. <laughs> wow. Okay, they give you the explanation of the grammar. So this is something that I usually do. Okay, I check my grammar. You go unit by unit. This is unit four. You can go to unit, the next one, unit four. Unit five, ordinal numbers, English at work. Uh -huh, very interesting. They're talking about zero and first conditionals. Okay. Look at these phrases. It will be great. Would you mind? I really appreciate if you have also the audio. Again, transcript. The question, <coughs> the questions, and you can download. You have vocabulary and the meaning. You have everything here, really. If you have to choose only one website, I would choose this one because I have also for business news. If you many people are asking, oh, I want vocabulary for coronavirus. Okay, you go to news, and why is not changing? You go to news, okay, you have word in the news. And here, words in the news, coronavirus, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, the Royal, Notting Hill. And if you go through, you will find the coronavirus. Coronavirus everywhere now. Okay, so if you, maybe you're more visual, you don't want the website. Well, you go also to uh, the YouTube channel, BBC Learning English. Uh, they have 2.8 billion, million. Okay, and you have here the list, this is the reproduction, and you can find, look, coronavirus, as I told you. <laughs> okay, so you can find pretty much everything about coronavirus, you have 25 videos about coronavirus with different words, vocabulary, vocabulary, expression, phrases, grammar. Oof. Here you have for the whole year for you to study and review and make your lessons interesting. You have pronunciation as well, the sounds, pronunciation tips. If you say often or often, no? here they say that both are correct. Pronunciation in the news, pretty much complete. So. Um, I hope you find this interesting, okay? All right, so now 
We have two more, three more to go. Okay. Sometimes we want to record an audio to send or to insert on our PowerPoint presentation. Sometimes we want our students to send us a, an activity, okay? And we don't want to give them our WhatsApp. Well, you use Bookerer. What is that? Well, let's find. Booker.com. Okay, let me copiar. Copy, 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 chat. Okay, one second. I made a mistake. I'm going to share the um, one second. Can you see the website, bocaru.com? Can somebody help me? Can you see the website, bocaru.com? Yeah, can you see it? Can somebody text? <laughs> you say yes, yes, okay, thank you, thank you. All right, so here I click I, as you can see, I have a register, no email, no name, nothing, nothing. So how does, how will this help me? You click on record. Hello and welcome to blah, blah, blah. Today is, okay, please check your homework. Stop. Okay, you save and share. You can also download this. Let's imagine I have my PowerPoint presentation and I want my students to listen to my voice, to listen to my instruction. Download. It will go to my computer. I open my PowerPoint presentation. Ah, my stickers. Insert audio. If I go to download, the audio is here. It will take a little bit. Hello and welcome to blah, blah, blah. Today is, okay, please check your homework. Okay, so the audio is here. And you can uh, insert the audio onto your PowerPoint presentation or you can also share it on your um Wait, somebody has uh, texted me something. Oh. Okay, how many things open? Yes, yes, it's Becky. Okay, yeah, you were listening, you were. Okay, if I don't want to download that, you can copy the link and save it. Maybe you want to paste this on your Facebook group or your any group that you have, okay? Now, you can also send this to your students and you say, Listen, I want you, you're going to have a speaking activity. I want you to send me an audio answering some questions. Please go to this website, click on record, and you're going to record your voice, and you're going to send me the audio, okay? As you can see, parents are not going to be upset because their, their children or teenagers, they haven't added any email, or sorry, any contact details, okay? This is free, uh, very easy to use. Oh, this is recording, my gosh. <laughs> very easy to use, and you can also upload your audio. Vocaro, okay? You can save and share on WhatsApp directly, Facebook, Twitter, email, or download, or you delete. You download English, uh, English file, uh, MP3, MP4, MP... Because it's an audio, it's an MP3, because MP4 is a video. Yeah. Okay. I really like this one, for example, if I want to send long audios, I don't want to give my WhatsApp number to my students because it's pretty annoying. <laughs> you can use this. All right. So let's continue. Yes. I have a question, teacher. I yes. have a question, please. Uh, how do the students send back the audio? 
once they already um, type it. If they when they have finished, they, they click on download. Yes. Okay, and when they click on download, they can uh, send that audio maybe via email. Because if you open your email, you can attach document, file, or audio or video. We have a platform. We have a platform at the school. Ah, could we call, okay. could we call. So we use it a lot. However, so once the student finish to to uh, shape their message or their invoice, they yes. just save it and send it back. Yeah, what would be the process? Yeah, I don't know according to what you're using. I think you're using Google Meet. Yes. Yeah. Google. No, no, I'm using QVCall. QVCall. So, ah, that, uh, yeah. so that's different. So we have just to send to the platform. One, then they will save their message or their invoice. But what could be the process? For example, if I use WhatsApp, what would be the process that they could save and then send it to me? So, for example, if I record now, yes. hello, hello, everybody, blah, 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 hello, yes, yes, and I go save, download, I go to my WhatsApp, because they can do that, no? They have WhatsApp, WhatsApp web. Yeah. Of course, maybe they already have you here. For example, I'm going to send this to my husband. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here. No, here. Insert a file document. Okay. I got you. Download. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's downloading. Okay. Uh, it's a joke. Because my husband would say, well, why are you sending me hello, hello, hi, hi. Okay, so that's what you can right. do. Okay. Thank you. Okay, no worries. Now the last ones, because it's a bit late now. The last ones is about lesson stream and fluently. I'm going to show you just one, okay, lesson stream. So if I click this one, click this one, lesson stream. Lessonstream.org or .com. Uh, no, this one. Lessonstream.org. Ah, it has changed. Okay, well, uh, okay. Well, before it was lessonstream.org. Well, it is still free. Join the membership. Let me see. What a pity if you have to pay now. Okay, you can join today. Let me see. Oh, you have to pay now. Oh, what a pity because it was free and you have lessons ready. They, they have lessons ready. Okay, so if I, let me, let me do it again. Lesson. Stream. Well, no, it's not working. Well, so let's forget about this one. Maybe fluently. Okay. Yeah, some apps, they were offering many things for free and then coronavirus came and they are charging, you know. <laughs> Fluently.com. Okay. Sign up for free or login. I'm already here, I think. Okay. Click, click. One more second. Okay, I am a teacher. The name of the school. Okay, well, you go, you need to go to every process. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to type. If I do this, English, okay, safe. As you can see, I have added any school. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you, what you write, okay? School from China, Japan. So what do you have here? Look, you can also go pro, of course, but these ones are available to you to use free. 
for example, uh, two minutes nine. No, I mean, nothing with politics, now that's a problem. Coronavirus. <laughs> One more time. So you have different videos, of course, because it's a, here's a video. You have different videos. These videos have subtitles and they are available. Here you have what they talk about. The option one is to watch the video. There are dozens of antibody tests promising to tell you can see all the transcriptions here. Tell you if you've had coronavirus. So are they accurate? So what can you do here? Well, you have play fluently live. You have quizzes, you can assign to a class, and you can view transcript. Well, it turns out the CDC says they might be wrong up to half the time. So, which one should you get, or should you get one at all? Contact 7 investigator Jennifer Kovaleski. You have to explore a little bit and click on everything so you can see what you can do. Look, comprehension quiz, corona first, mix, 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 questions. Everything according to your student's level. As you can see, this is a B2 activity. Okay, so the only thing that you need to do is I share with you, and I copy this on your chat, on our chat. Ah, no. <laughs> yes, a uh, Jelner, fluent key. Yeah, I say fluently, no? Fluent key, right? Exactly. So, of course, you don't have all the videos available. I know somebody works on this website, they need to earn money, but you have a few for you to use. I don't want you to show me this again. If I load more, have more, more, load more. And also they give you the level B2, C1, B2, C1. I like this one. A2, basic, no? And you also have this video on YouTube, I think, about this lesson. The, the learning English is well-known. But here you have activities. That's what I like about it, you know? You don't need to think about the question, the quizzes. You don't need to watch the video, have the transcript ready. Everything is ready for you. Oh, hi, everyone. Here in Washington, D.C., the weather changes often. One day is cold and windy, but the next day is warm and sunny. Okay, so uh, I have shared some interesting uh, websites. I hope you find them useful. Don't go crazy with every single one. Choose the ones that are useful to you and to your students' level.